Hi, welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Valuti. Today we will be converting measurements using metric units for weights and masses. There's actually only one conversion we'll be using in today's lesson. That is, one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. Because uh, the metric system uses the powers of 10, we're going to be using the powers of 10 when we do some multiplication and division today. There are two rules that you need to remember, just like all the other conversion lessons that you've watched. When converting a larger unit of weight to a smaller unit of weight, you should multiply. When you're converting a smaller unit of weight to a larger unit of weight, you should divide. Let's try some of these out. So let's get started. Two kilograms equals some number of grams. Well, I know that kilograms are larger compared to grams and that there are actually 1,000 grams that make up a kilogram. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this up. I know that when I go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, I'll need to multiply. And in this case, I multiply by 1,000. Well, I know that 2 times 1,000 is simply 2,000. So I'm going to put that down here. Let's use the first problem to help us solve problem two. 2.5 kilograms equals some number of grams. Well, once again, it's the same exact thing. I need to multiply by 1,000. But maybe you're not sure how to multiply 2.5 or 2.5 times 1,000. So let's talk about two ways to do that. The way you might have learned before is that you could do 2 times 1,000, and that gets you 2,000. And you could do 0.5 times 1,000. And we know that 0.5 is the same thing as 1 half, and 1 half groups of 1,000 is 500. And when you add that up, you get 2,500, or 2,500 grams. Now, a faster way to do it is to think about the powers of 10. So here I'm going to write down 2.5. I know that 1,000 is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10, three groups of 10. So what I'm going to do now is move my decimal place over to the right three times, because each time I move my decimal place, I'm multiplying by 10. So I'm going to move it again times 10, and one more time times 10. My decimal place is now right here and I have to put in my zeros, no more decimal there, and the same answer comes up. This is the same thing as 2,500. So that's a faster way that we can use the metric system and the powers of 10 to help us solve. Let's use the same rule with the powers of 10 for this, these next problems. First I have uh, 673 thousandths kilograms equals a certain amount of grams. Well, once again, to go from kilograms to grams, I need to multiply. I have to multiply by a thousand. So let's practice. If I have 6.73 and I'm multiplying it by a thousand, I'm going to move my decimal place over times 10, times 10 again, which is a total of 100, and times 10 again. All of these arrows should be going to the right. Now my decimal point is no longer before the 6, it's after the 3. So that means 673 thousandths kilograms equals 673 grams. The next problem is 7,800 grams equals some number of kilograms. Well, in this case, going from grams to kilograms, I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So I'm actually going to need to divide this time by 1,000. It works in a very similar way. So I'm going to write down 700. I know my decimal point is over here on the right. So this time, to divide by 1,000, I'm going to go to the left. So I'm going to move my decimal place, divide it by 10, divide by another 10, and divide by another 10. Dividing by 10 three times is the same thing as dividing by 1,000. So I have my decimal place, and now I can write it as 7 and 8 tenths kilograms. Lastly, 5.6 grams equals some number of kilograms. 
Well, again, it's the same as the one we just did where I'm going from grams to kilograms. So I'm going to divide by 1,000. This one's a little bit different, though, because my decimal um, point is in the middle of the problem. So let's try this. I have 5.6, and I need to divide by 1,000. So I'm going to start with my decimal place. I'm going to go over to the left, bring it to the left, which is dividing by 10, to the left again, which is dividing by another group of 10, and to the left for a third time, which is dividing by 10 again, and that's a total of dividing by 1,000. So no longer is my decimal point there, it's actually here. Now in order to show the place value, I need to put in two zeros. And that's going to help to show the, the exact answer. So 5.6 grams is the same thing as 56 ten thousandths kilograms. I hope you learned a lot about using the powers of 10 when you're working with weights and masses in the metric units. Thank you.